guys, it's Faith. Welcome back to another video on the channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Hall of Fame Holy Grail makeup products I'm loving right now. And a lot of these I've actually loved for years. We have a good combination of high-end and drugstore products here. So some of these you can actually shop in the Sephora sale that's happening right now. So if you haven't gotten your Sephora sale shopping done, here are some recommendations. I will link everything down in the description below as always. So I hope you guys enjoy and without further ado, let's get right on into the video. Okay, so the first product I'm gonna be talking about is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I love using good tinted moisturizers slash BB cream, CC creams. I just love a good like light finish foundation to just kind of smooth out my face and make everything one color. So I'm in the shade Petal. This is definitely a very pricey product. I think I paid like $48 to $50, but it has lasted me multiple months and I think it's very much worth it. But if you do want to go for a cheaper alternative, the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream has been my go-to for literally years. So I want to say that's like a good cheaper alternative if you don't want to spend $50 on Tissue Moisturizer. I totally get it. I'm actually wearing it on my skin today and it just like makes everything one color. Going with concealer to cover up some breakouts and that's like my go-to. I don't like full coverage foundations. I'm more of a light to medium coverage and this has a nice radiant finish. Next is my favorite bronzer and blush combo. I have literally been using these products for years and years and years. I feel like every single makeup tutorial I have done on my channel, I probably have used these at one point, at least in the like last four or five years. So for this bronzer, this is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess um, Amazonian Clay Bronzer. I don't know how to do a lot of contouring and stuff, so I just use a little powder bronzer. And I feel like this is like not too orangey. It's not super shimmery. I feel like this is a perfect summer bronzer, but I use this all year round. I feel like it best complements my fair skin the best. I kind of am scared to like branch out to other bronzers because I absolutely love this shade. I use like the lightest little bit and I contour on my cheekbones, my forehead, a little bit on my nose, my chin. And then I also like this blush. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay in Party. I do have two. This is the one I'm using right now. It's currently broken. But um, again, this blush, I cannot go wrong with this color. I feel like this complements my skin tone the absolute best. It's not too dark. It's not too pink. Um, it's like a really pretty like mauve pink, which I absolutely like about it. And again, I have been putting this on like my upper cheekbones, a little bit on my forehead, on top of my nose in the summertime to kind of give that look that I've been in the sun for a little bit. Now, besides the bronzer and blush, I feel like this product is literally my number one holy grail all-time favorite and of course it's from Tarte. I honestly didn't know I loved a lot of Tarte products but here we are. This is the Tarte Let and Bloom palette. Again, I think I've had this palette for like four, five, maybe six years. This one looks absolutely dirty. In the B-roll, I use a newer one because I got a newer one a couple of Christmases ago and I'm like, I need to use all of this in here before I do the new one. I don't wanna mess up the new palette. So for now, I'm using the old one. Um, my favorite combo is Jet Setter and Sweetheart for my crease. And I don't have this shade anymore, but my favorite shade was Funny Girl. It's like the perfect like champagne sparkly color. And I do have a product that has that similar shade that I'll show you in a second. But yeah, those are like my favorite little color pieces. And then if I want to go a little crazy, there are some like smoky blacks. There are some like dark wine colored um, shades over here as well. So I can turn this a little bit red. I can go a little brown, black. Jet Setter is like a good chocolatey brown. Like that is like a great brown to mix in with this gorgeous blush pink color. It kind of looks a little bit like my blush color that I use, but a little more brown in the mix. And then it has like a good like plain white shade to use in case I want to do a crazy look on there. But you guys, this is like my favorite palette. If you want to buy anything from this video, this palette, amazing. Okay, we're going to jump to eyes a little bit. 
And we're gonna jump into this Beauty Counter Mascara. Now this is a more recent favorite. I haven't been using this for years, probably a few months so far. And it's their Think Big Mascara. They actually sent this to me and it was for their launch. So it was literally only a few months ago. Absolutely love the packaging and the wand on this mascara. It's really like comes down to the wand with all these mascara products. The wand is a little unique. It starts out a little thin and then it goes out super thick. So that's gonna give you some length and a little bit of volume. Thicker ones tend to give you more volume while skinnier ones give you more length. So that's good to know if you don't know that yet. Um, and that's kind of what I look for in a mascara is length, volume, uh, long wearing too. And I only put it on my top lashes. I used to put mascara on my bottom lashes. We'll never do that again never do that again. For my brows, I have had a little struggle with finding right brow products. Um, I used to use the Anastasia like brow gel that was like the color and I would just like brush my brows with that. That was great, but I wanted more precision. So I have been using this little Charlotte Tilbury um, brow line. So this is their Brow Cheat Micro Precision Brow Pencil. One side it has a little brow crayon on it. I like that it's more of a crayon and not so much like a pencil. And then on the other side, it has a mini little spoolie, which is great for bad brow days and you just want to like comb certain brows certain ways. I don't know, if you get it, you get it. And then I use their Brow Fix Just Clear Brow Gel. I like that this one is like super thick. Again, with like thick wands, they're gonna give you some volume. So I like brushing this throughout my brows. It makes my brows look a lot fuller. I already have pretty full brows, but I like to have a little bit of that fluffy look sometimes. I'm gonna touch on a couple face products and then we'll get onto lips. So this, you guys have probably seen on my makeup tutorials for years and years. And this is another, I would say this is like number two favorite product of all time. Um, this is an old collab. So That's Heart on YouTube collabed with e.l.f. and they made the coffee and cream highlighter duo. You guys, I love it. I think it was like $8 at the time. They don't sell it anymore. Every time I do an everyday makeup routine, I try to link it and I can never find it. I mean, you can find it on eBay. So this is the current one I'm using. This is all I have. This is the coffee, this is the cream. Um, this is like a nice like copper brown with a nice like white shimmer. You mix that together and the highlighter is gorgeous. Super pigmented. Love this so much. Um, when it launched, literally my mom and I went on and bought them and she hasn't really used hers in a while so she gave me hers and it's like brand spanking new practically. So just like the eyeshadow palette, once I'm completely done with this, then I'll get into the new one. I will try to find a similar product linked below. I believe the e.l.f. Prismatic Duo, one of the, the shade combinations, is actually really similar to this, so I'll link that one down below. Earlier I was talking about um, the shimmer shade that I like to use on my eyeshadow, and this is the one I've been using lately. It's a nice, like, champagne-y shimmer color, just like I was talking about earlier. This is ColourPop's um, super shock cheek in lunch money. So this is actually a highlighter, um, which you can use as a highlighter, but this is definitely more of like a bouncy, um, creamy kind of consistency. But again, champagne, shimmery, super, super pigmented. I mean, ColourPop stuff is actually really pigmented. I'm kind of surprised. There's a couple shades I have that are just plain glitter, but this one actually gives off some pigment, so you can use this as a highlighter, but I like to use it in my mid to inner corners. Now the last product I have been loving is this Rimmel Stay Plumped Lip Gloss. I believe I've had this for about a year now. Now I'm kind of concerned about my makeup actually being expired. <laughs> Because I don't think this is healthy. I don't think what I'm promoting here is very healthy, but um, this is the Rimmel Stay Plumped in the shade... It's a good question. I don't know the shade. It's just a white glitter gloss. I have to say this is one of my favorite plumping glosses. I know some of the higher end stuff can literally burn your lips um, practically immediately, but this gives like the perfect amount of shine and it starts plumping a little bit later on. I would say about like two or three minutes after you apply it and it actually feels very cooling on your lips, which is like a major difference between like all the other popular ones. They kind of feel like they're burning. They work. I'll give you that. 
and this works too but it's a little more cooling so if you don't like all of like the tingles and the burning of your lips just look a little bit bigger I'd go for this I'll link it down below they also have a few other shades as well but this is the closest to clear shimmer gloss I could get with it and that is my favorite holy grail makeup products I hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up again everything will be linked down in the description below as well as my socials so if you want to follow me on Instagram or TikTok or Pinterest I have been blowing up on Pinterest a little bit lately um, my links to those will be down below but I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon bye